So now that the subscription is finally out of the way and we can talk about the synth itself and create some sounds. In the first video, I created some kind of bass sound with current and this time I want to use the granular engine to create a nice, easy pad sound. And the first thing I miss on the granular engine and I usually miss on every granular synthesizer ever and also samplers is the record button. I want to record directly into the buffer and experiment with different sounds and how they sound with the granular engine. This is at least my opinion. So this needs to be standardized on every granular synthesizer ever record feature, right? So to record something or to use my vocals in here, so we have to rely on the DAW itself. So I record here something on an audio track, but I use here the quick sampler because it's, you know, quick. <laughs> so um, yeah, I record something into a different buffer. So here I just record my voice. Something like this. I mean, it sounds pretty beautiful. So we can drag here just, just into the sampler itself, but we don't know the pitch. So to get the idea what kind of pitch this is, we can, you know, fiddle around for hours, or we can just drag this here into Bitwig, into a sampler. And inside of the sampler, we can use the det detect root key option here. So uh, let me let me drag this here over here and say detect root key and it's D sharp three minus 16 cents. So we can type in here, it's D sharp as a root key and it's off by um, minus 60 cents, okay? So now that we have this, we can just delete here everything and just use uh, current only. And I want to test here if the pitch is correct by just playing this back and use here the wavetable. That's ah, perfectly in tune. Okay, so in the granular engine here, I want to use uh, at least zero speed so the playhead stays in place. I bring the playhead over here, increase the spray, increase the layers, and then I want to change the offset, which changes basically the playhead playback of left and right channel. Maybe we don't need to modulate this actually. Um, so this is here the granular size. So how long basically the sample is. So I want to keep this here at a certain amount so it overlaps or the granular particles overlap a bit. We don't need to sync here. Uh, there's also high pass in here, which is nice because we want to use the wavetable and put some synthesized sounds below it, right? So we can cut off here some of the low end. Maybe increase the loudness a bit. So now we go back here to the wavetables and use uh, saw. We increase the unison. like that and we want to put this through a filter of course and I use here a morphing filter a morph 12 and morph is basically you can morph between a low pass and a high pass and a notch okay that's nice so I want to use here an LFO the LFO goes to three bars and I want to randomize this. And I modulate you the cutoff for that. I want a second LFO, let's switch this to LFO here. Also slow, six bars maybe. Also uh, randomize. And I want to randomize here the morph. Not too much. We don't want a pure high pass, we just want here. Just a bit of movement. Maybe spread so we can change here the um, the low cut or low pass for the left and right channel differently. 
and we need to change it in the envelope for the amplitude. So here it's just, you know, um, a sustained sound. So we introduce here a long attack, let's say four seconds and a long decay, maybe seven seconds, five. Sounds nice. So we use the second oscillator here, yeah? but this one goes, uh, let's say, seven semitones higher. So in the dominant, basically, or the fifth. And this uh, oscillator goes also through the filter one here. And here I want to also use an LFO. Only a tiny bit of randomize here and also pretty slow two bars, maybe three bars. And then I use this here for the volume for the second oscillator to bring in the dominant just sometimes. phaser yeah that's also something you can modulate so another lfo randomize it's pretty fast to work with current actually and right click set bipolar so we modulate in both directions And by the way, I missed some kind of feature where we can change how many voices we want to have at maximum. Um, at the moment, if I play multiple voices, sometimes I can hear that certain older voices switch off. Right, you can hear it. If I just start enough voices, then you can hear sometimes all the voices switch off. But um, I use a long amplitude envelope here okay that's to be fair um it's pretty long and uh, i usually want to put reverb on it anyway so um it's not that bad um so here i want to start with uh, a chorus and it's moving too fast so i'm putting this down a bit of randomize Then, of course, I want to use a reverb, so I use a swarm reverb here. Let's go for preset, ambient space, and use nebula. After that, maybe cluster delay. bit more high pass
Nice. Okay, let's see if we can put in here some some samples. Uh, noise, dust noise. Let's see how this sounds. What else do we have? Crackle. Yeah, let's use that. Cut here everything, every low frequencies away so we get rid of the uh, rumble. You can mix this in. Maybe pitch it down. Let's see how this sounds. Oh yeah, let's put this uh, through a filter here. This is sample filter. Let's use the pitch option here. Double click this. And let's use a different filter here. Comp, basic, BP. go plus 12 24 can we type this in here yeah yeah sounds nice Go here to thirty six. Oh, it's in series, okay. I need to switch it to parallel, okay. Yeah, that's much better. There's a lot of texture in here with the sampler. Granular engine brings in some organic feel from my voice. And then we have here some stable frequencies with the saw and um, with the second fifth. Yeah, I would say I, I saved this as a preset here and I put it in the description below so you can download it and can try it out uh, for yourself in current if you own it actually. And you can also, of course, experiment yourself with some vocals inside of the granular engine. It's always fun to do. Um, maybe to add something like this, like a recording feature into the granular engine would be really great. Um, and yeah. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.